Hello friends, and welcome. Welcome to today's ASMR Reiki healing session. Today's session is going to be focused on connecting with the full moon in Aries. Allowing ourselves to surrender and release our past. The cycle that is gone, the cycle that is closing, the cycle that is opening for renewal. Aiding us to step forward into transformation, into our growth. We're going to begin by connecting to the full moon energy, Aries energy, and look at the celestial energies that surround us. We're going to ground and cleanse our energetic body, opening ourselves up to surrender, to shed the skin of our past, to shed the masks that we have worn, empowering us to be who we are in this moment and the next knowing that we are ever-changing, ever-transforming, ever-growing. Knowing that all aspects of ourself are beautiful. And they are all a part of our journey. And to aid us to connecting to the healing energy of this beautiful full moon and to simply be. If that sounds good, let's begin. to begin today by setting our intention. And on the candle I have written healing with the infinity sign, the sign of balance and alignment. My intention for this ASMR Reiki healing energy work session is to aid us in connecting to the lunar energies around us, the subtle celestial influences upon our lives, aiding with grounding in our being and surrendering to our journey ahead, empowering our being our energetic body to step forward into expansion and renewal, rebirthing and transforming ourselves in new forms. Connecting us to 
the healing energy of Reiki, of the moon, of everything around us, of our mind. And allowing us to align in our own individual needs and in alignment with our personal will. If you would like to add your own intention, do so now. I'm going to begin by looking at the full moon. Full moon in Aries, the hunter full moon. Symbolized by the ram. Perseverance, budding through challenges, fighting for who we are, the power and energy of I am the individual, the beginning of the zodiac cycle, and the beginning of our next cycle of growth. Connected with Mars, this beautiful moon is associated with our emotions, pop astrology, talks about its aggressiveness, of its anger, but the Aries full moon is one of action. As a cardinal sign, it pushes us to step forward, pushing us to go for those things that we have been dragging our feet to go towards, giving us the strength and ability to move forward. The Ram. Perseverance. You have many gifts. The ability to climb mountains. The ability to step forward. The ability to act from your desires. abilities to be your next best self. I am powerful. I am me. We're going to use some incense to cleanse our energetic body, our atmosphere, and open us up for this healing session. sense to take us to the journey of ourselves, the journey of who we are, the journey of the lost cycle, the burning flames of desire and transformation. move this cleansing smoke through our energy fields, allowing it to transmute and aid in releasing those things from the cycle past that are no longer needed, burning away any thoughts of lack. Any 
emotions of the past. Any pains from the journey that we have walked through so far. A full moon occurs when the sun is on one side and the moon is on the other and we are in the middle. During full moons, we can experience this meeting of energies. Right now, our sun is in Libra sign of relationships, of love, of beauty, and our moon is in the sign of Aries, new beginnings, action, abundance, independence. And these energies are aiding us in aligning with not only standing our ground in ourself, but in the interactions that we have with others. Asking us to meet in the middle between what we need and the teamwork and collaborations that can help us get there. Knowing that we are not alone, that we have those This beautiful full moon sees the star of Sh Chiron traveling next to the moon and Venus aligning with the sun, giving us a very loving connection to our relationships and self and a very healing energy from our wounded warrior, our past lessons, the things that we have learnt when we have healed, 
the things that we have learned about ourselves and connecting together how we feel within and how we express without Let's bring him this beautiful crystal, this beautiful grounding rock. I'll put in the description box what it is called because I cannot, I cannot remember right now. I chose this crystal to aid us in letting go of the past and helping to remove those more ingrained attachments that we have to our past self, to our past relationships, to our past relationship with ourselves. Any energies that we really just need to let go of to step forward into this new cycle, this new full moon cycle. And just drawing out those ingrained thought patterns, those, that energetic debris that we may still hold. And just allowing it to go out and be transmuted and transformed and renewed. Our past is there, but we do not need to cling on to it. We do not need to keep processing it in our brains release that. Surrender. Just going to place this crystal at your feet to ground all your past selves, to remove all of that energetic debris, to leave it here as we step forward now. Now this moon is also forming a square with a newly direct Pluto in Capricorn. Pluto is the planet of transformation, of spiritual awakenings, and it has been in retrograde since April. It's a very transformative square, causing a little bit of tension as we step forward into renewal. And tension is really just a building of energy ready to break forward into expansion. Oftentimes, it is very hard to change, to transform, to release and surrender. That's okay. Take your time.
And as we brush away those energies that are releasing themselves, we're going to use this relaxation oil. We're going to use it to grab hold of all those energies that are no longer serving us. Removing the skin of our past, the masks of our past. Stepping forward to renewal. Allowing these essential oils to aid you into relaxing into this moment, relaxing into your new self, this new beginning. Knowing that you are powerful, you are independent, you can form the relationships you want with others, you can communicate in ways that you want. Removing any attachments we have to ourselves. And now that we are feeling relaxed. Bring in some energies that support this Aries energy, this movement forward, expansion in our growth. I have these fire quartz. We're going to use these to awaken our desires, to awaken our authentic self, to awaken the fires and desires within that we are going to bring forward and empower ourselves in our newest form. We're going to bring forth our, our I am's. I am powerful. I am successful. I am worthy. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am capable. energizing us, empowering us, aiding our movement forward, our expansion, our growth. Healing our inner self the way we think and speak of ourselves, knowing that the things that we have gone through are just part of our journey. They do not define us. 
we define us. We redefine us. And again and again and again. Ever changing, ever growing, ever expanding. Knowing our journey is what it is. And that we have the power to make it what it is not. To make it what we want it to be. Grounding those desires and actions into reality. For the full moon is a time of accumulation, a time where we celebrate and honor our growth. We honor who we are, what we have been through, and the cycles that close and open. Balancing, aligning, harmonizing. Balancing, aligning, harmonizing. Balancing, aligning, harmonizing. Balancing, aligning, harmonizing. Balancing, harmonizing. Channeling, healing, expansive energy to nourish each of our individual growth, manifesting and growing our dreams, our next steps, our actions, empowering us to step forward to act, to be whatever we want to be.
fluffing our aura, our protective shield, expanding our personal energies, allowing us to take up space, to be ourselves, to align in our authenticity, and to know that we choose the stories we tell. We choose how open we are with those around us. We do not need to discard all masks to be ourselves. for each part of us serves a very valid purpose. Not everyone deserves to know who you are, to be in your energy, to be authentic is to be you in all your forms. You do not need to be an open book. Just be you. Whatever you is right now. Whatever you is tomorrow will be different and change. But know that you are perfect just the way you are. And that you deserve to be whomever you want to be. I hope that you are feeling empowered in yourself. I hope that you have been able to release those things that have clouded your path. I hope that you can see how truly marvelous you are. Until the next time. Goodbye, my friends.